AMT's 1932 Ford Featon coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight we're going to look at AMT Ertl's 1932 Ford Phaeton. Now don't let the box art fool you. Although this does say Street Custom, you can actually build this kit one of three different ways. Now, let's go down and see what those ways are. Now we look at Ford's Leap into Luxury for 1932 with the AMT Ertl Street Custom 1932 Ford Phaeton Kit. And before I open the lid on this, I will suggest if you ever build this model, please drill out the horn so that it looks nice and that sound can actually come out of the horn instead of a slab piece of plastic here. Now let's open up the lid on this kit and see what's in the box. So here we have our 32 Ford feet and instructions looking as nice as can be. I always like the artwork in these kits. They give you a great big write-up right here so you get to know everything about the 32 Ford, including the hot rod history that came in after World War II. Because this kit is a three-in-one kit. And as you can see, you get the old Ford Flathead. This is the first year of the Ford Flathead, 1932. Revolutionized speed and it was a great car for gangsters because they had something that could outrun the police if you read your history. And there it is going together. You also get this optional overhead valve Ford engine, which I believe is a Thunderbird kit. I'm not 100% sure on that. And you get an engine stand so you can display one of your engines. And the nice thing is these little hook pieces will fit with the frames of the 36 Ford, the 40 Ford, and a bunch of other AMT kits. This kit was brought out in the 60s and I do believe George Barish had a hand in some of these things, but they wanted interchangeable parts, AMT, between the kits so that you could customize your own cars any way you please. And as you can see, you're getting the stock frame underneath with the running gear, as well as the custom one that appears to use torsion bars from a Chrysler rear axle, which is interesting. And on the other side, shows you how the engine goes in, your upholstery, and the bodies that drop on. You can also build this without fenders, as shown here, for your custom. Or mix and match these parts in any way you choose for your own things. The other nice part is they give you the actual paint codes for the Fords back in the day and what they came with. And now let's look at our decals. There you get some nice flame stripes and scallops. And our chrome pieces here. Now, this kit had a few reissues. I believe it came out in the 70s, and it shares some body panels with the 32 Ford Victoria, which is in another one of our upcoming reviews. These open slot mag wheels came out in the 70s. And these other ones with all the little dots and holes, they came out in a kit release from the 1980s. I've built both versions. And this kit goes together really, really nicely. These are collectors for your exhausts. Oh, and you also get the chrome windshield in here. Next up, we have our wheels, our tires. And these are the metal axles that go through the suspension components and the original Firestone tires as well as these Goodyears in big ones and little ones for the front. Here is our frame and you can see the level of detail with all the little rivets that are in there. Then I have this bag here. I believe I was working on this kit a little bit. So I've got the hood and the wheels and some of the seats in there and one of the engine blocks. And then we have our, our RV. We have our windows and glass right here, which you can see is always nice and clear. 
And here we have our fenders, the feet and body, and the interior. The interior, of course, comes out it's separate. And you can glue your dashboard in there. Uh, one thing to note, though, the body is quite far away from the interior panel, so you would need to fill that with some filler or use some evergreen strip. These fenders are shared with the Victoria kit. Then we have our roof for our Phaeton. And now because you can build a stock or custom, they give you a chop top version as well as a full top, which would glue under there and line up with your either chopped windshield or full windshield, depending on how you want to build this kit. Then we do have some of our suspension components. And this is the dashboard for the Phaeton, because the Phaeton has a chop top. And the reason why I'm saying that is because these are the pieces that are shared between the Phaeton and the Vicky, and the Victoria has this dashboard. So, so you know it has the spare tire mounting bracket on this tree with the Victoria dashboard, so don't use that if you're not building a Victoria. <laughs> these are also parts that get shared with the Victoria kit, the spare tire, and of course that nice 32 Ford grill shell. Ford had some really good styling in this year. And here is the engine. Ah, these are the flathead Ford engines right here. And the other Thunderbird motor was sitting here. That's the one that was in the bag. And there's our engine display stand and suspension components. And here is our last sprue of major importance. There's that horn that needs to be drilled out. <laughs> and our Chrysler style torsion bar suspension as well as the custom pieces. Our exhaust manifolds, or exhaust pipes, these are sort of 1950s, 60s style with those mufflers. And finally a little baggie with two steering wheels, stock and custom. And that, dear friends, is our examination of the 34 to Ford Phaeton. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we looked at the 1932 Ford Phaeton. And if you would like to see some of the other cars in this series, please click here, click here, and click here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so we can continue to make these great quality videos where I have some little bloopers every now and again. And until next time, always remember to drive within the speed limit, and we will see you soon.